The following program is brought to you by the Marketers Association of Zimbabwe. Welcome to Pachoto. So, gentlemen, welcome again. And uh, tonight we are going to pick up from where we left uh, last week. And we are talking about work-life balance. You know, when you talk about work-life balance, it's about how do you maintain the equilibrium between your professional life and your everyday life. So we have come here to share ideas, but I think one of the big things that we spoke about last week was about how do you ensure that you keep your, it all together. And we want to talk about stress, stress that's coming either from a work situation or from a home situation. How do you balance that? You know, uh, stress, I think if you want to loosely define it, stress is where um, you are faced with a perceived threat. It's your response to a perceived threat. What is the threat or a challenge that you are facing? And usually when your body is faced with a threat, it goes into a fight or flight mode. So this uh, evening we want to talk about stress and say how do you handle stress from home? You know. Um, most men end up breaking down and getting into suicide, not because they are weak men, but it's because they are not able to handle what is coming their way. So with you gentlemen, I want to find out from you, how do you feel uh, about stress? What is it that you think really brings about stress and how can you manage that? And I'm gonna start by asking you, uh, Mashinga is there and say, how do you, what have you, what has been your experience and, and how do you handle stress? Thank you so much, uh, Pastor, for making me break the ice there. I think uh, the way I've handled stressful uh, moments in my life is that uh, I'm a communicator. And because of that, I have a close knit circle of people that I go to with real life issues that I feel. If I tell them, they can assist me when I feel that uh, I have a stressful conditions. I've gone through really stressful issues in terms of even marriage. Right. And uh, I was unfortunate also to go through a divorce. Right. And uh, that affected me really hard. But my go-to people were of course my sister, my brother, and I've got uh, a lot to thank them for having been the strength around which lifted me up from a very stressful situation. So I've managed through that experience amongst many others to know that when I have issues that I affect them, bottling them and keeping them at self level is not helpful right. at all. The moment I take them out there, I share them and the problem shared is a problem solved. Right. And this has worked for me at least for now. That's just very interesting. Anzana uh, Mashinga is a, I, I, I went through a difficult time, but I had a, I had a group of people around me. I, I, I want to find out from, from you, Ryan, as a, as a, as a young man, uh, to what extent do you think that um, the stress at home or the things that we face at home will affect how you will be effective at work? Okay, thank you so much, Pastor. Um, stress actually, stress from, stress from home 
uh, yes, got a very negative impact at work. Because usually we spend a lot of time at work. Yeah. That's where most of us actually spend a lot of time. Right. So that thing that might have affected me at home, I carry it to work. Right, right. It, so the moment I carry it to work, at work is where I have got a lot of time and uh, I've got a lot of things to experience also at work. So something at work might uh, actually, what can I say, can actually bring back the things that I faced at home. Right, right, right. You get where I'm going? Yeah. Okay. So with that thing that has happened at work, and it affect like actually making me, me, me making my, my, my thoughts actually bring back what has happened at home, might have a very negative impact in my, in my performances at work. Okay. So at times, uh, if you, let's say you are dealing with numbers, right? You deal with numbers at work, sometimes they might be biased uh -huh. due to some other things that might have happened at, at home. So I think uh, stress at home actually has got a very positive, uh, and in fact, has a very negative impact, negative impact to my performances or what I do at work or how I handle matters at work, be it decisions or something else. So, na kama unzo uti pane pane uti kubasa wanano funza na uti naskwa kamira se kana boss wao ya naswa rukfara ere, and so if it's okay, then maybe things are going to be uh, are going to be better. Which I think I don't know if 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 any has experienced that, but when we know the way that Yaga Mira say, "Nini ya guti zuri na na guti kumba kurufaya ere kana utaukus kufaya ere." So 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 I I I get the point where you're saying um, uh, your well-being mm -hmm. at home mm -hmm. in your personal life sure. has got a bearing on your performance at work. At work yeah. So mgoma chitige a. Eh, I mean, what you want to say, you know, what Ryan is talking about. Yeah, Kuti, can I come back to right? Kuba Sanengarima one. What's your view in terms of that? Yeah, St uh, stress in most homes, it's only challenge. I see the no nas no bad sira. Can I come back to what 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 Kenya na ne Muriago? I often go to Akura to see Kumba. We see that no. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And this is a control and go up on a papo. I see the show out in Rukuana. The kind of one, Aku, no wasako Zichora, no terras or no tower, Kana Zichuaka, Zinke, Chitora, Zenda. Okay. I see Chimachin, Chinoitika. Must mind up an You are saying I must not show what I am, and Fanukutakura, I must not show what I'm going through at work. Mm -hmm. But doesn't that even compound the stress? Because now I'm trying to hold it in, I'm trying to keep it in, and yet things are not okay. You are expected to deliver at work. If you don't deliver at work, you will have worse stress. Maybe, maybe Kumbamangam Shoneza Nye Mar. And then Washka Gubasa. Maisha, what do you what do you think? Um what happens is um there are two sides to it. So I could depend on the coping mechanism, you get us. And um, truly, we we have to separate these issues. Even though we have to separate these issues, we have to separate these issues. We have to separate So that and he affects the work side. Right. Because at the end of the day, you'll find that if you carry the stresses that are happening in Kumbaga, that's when you start lashing out at everyone else, and it's affecting the whole flow. Right. So in Indofunga, there is need to strike a balance and separate the two issues. But when you challenge one, uh -huh. fine, we should have someone to talk to. Mm -hmm. But 90% of the times, reality is a ground. I can confide in road. Right. But as good demands, 
Boss, once that's around, I am going to road I would know good news from you, sir. You have to go to Ano. That's my so so hard I saw. That's interesting. You are saying if I confide in him, I may have everything. They will be having it for tea. But you know, let's just take a break. When we come back, I want you to first go to be able to tell us and say how do we ensure that we are able to develop genuine relationships so that we may be able to balance between work and life. We'll take a break. Communication is the basis of life and exchange is the process of life. And so we're talking about stress. And earlier on, Tangashi Taura Panapa, Shikanzu, Usa unze shokumba, Usa unze kubas. But we had said, I said tafazuka, but nana tafazuka too. Sakatumbo tanga na mtandwa. Kutin mtandwa. How do you do it? How do you separate to make sure that you don't bring the things from home? And bring them to work. What what do you what can you how do you do it? You are the same person. Do you know how to run a Do you have to do your bus? Okay, thank you, Pastor. So I realized Bangam Chitawara the process, some of the process of life. Because life is all about entering and leaving. So right. when you leave home, walk a remir one stress and enter into a certain room one stress. Sometimes it's easier to rub off your stress to others. Right. So one of our, our my brother also spoke about cancel. Cancel is good. But other council, you know, go It reminds me of a certain story in the in the Bible of a certain king. He seeked counsel to the other guys with Zerarake and counsel to the other guys Wangwati Kure, but he ended up losing his kingship. So as a man when a stress, it's wise to choose good counsel. And nowadays people are saying it's easier to seek counsel even on Google and stuff. Now technology are found, but you can even if a conversation even on your WhatsApp through an amateur and stuff and get counsel from there. Right. What's your take on that? Right, so you say it's about entering and leaving. Yes. But Tafaz uh, Gondo, uh, is it possible then to have relationships at work, to develop relationships maybe with your boss or a colleague, so that the people that you work with, they are able to understand where you are at? What's, what, what's, what's your view in terms of that? Yes, uh, Pastor, thank you. This is a very crucial topic because even nowadays for managerial roles, yeah. there's what we call psychometric test that test in emotional intelligence. Right. Emotional intelligence is your ability to separate your personal issues and also the work issues. Right. So most people actually fail that psychometric test because they are not able to separate that. I believe one of the things that you need to do is, um, this is what I always say, to say every person should belong to a family system, a strong family system, so that you are able to relieve your stress. So for example, if you are at work, my proposition is that you are, you are supposed to have a mentor. Nowadays at work, you are, you, are, you are encouraged to have a mentor. Someone that you don't work with, someone that doesn't know much about you, yourself, and you are able to talk to them and, and actually share with them the challenges that you are, you are, you are having. Even if it's not at work, you have to belong to a family system because a person is, is living, is a part of a, a global a family. So belong to some, someone. I know there are challenges where some people are not able to keep secrets, but you should be able to belong to someone. At church, see someone. At work, see someone. At home, see someone. Right. Yes, that's my, my thinking, Pastor about Wow, the very mm. interesting. Yeah. Hans, belong some way. Yeah. You can't be a lone ranger. Yeah. Machine guys, and you cannot be a lone ranger. Yeah. Because if anything wants to get you, it separates you. Yeah. Belong to something. I like what uh, you said, Mtanwa, about technology. To say you want to make use of technology yeah. so that you may be able to, to get the help that you need. But I think the bottom line in terms of what we are saying is that get help. Yeah. Don't be macho men. Yeah. Don't be macho men. Don't be macho men. Don't be macho men, but you need to get help. So uh, um, uh, I'll come to you, uh, Hezekiah. Sure. Hezekiah, you are young. Uh, what? How can you make use of technology in order to reduce stress? Because at the end of the day, stress is going to be there. 
but how do you ensure that you manage it? Men, particularly, mm. we go through stress. And because we don't share, I think women, mm. but men, to some extent, they really don't speak. What is your take on that? Okay, uh, coming to technology, okay, personally, in in Dirimunu, social media sharing. Right. So I usually resort to it uh, when I'm actually down or I have issues going on or maybe something is just no, no, not right. So I find much comfort in technology like so social media and uh, usually TikTok. Yeah, there are some other funny videos that might even stretch your, like, your, give you a smile, in fact when you're actually down. So that's how I, I can take it. It's actually a good point from Tafazo right, right, right there. So social media might actually relieve your stress. And even calling some other people, of course, you could know it's a threat actually, but you know, as a guy, problem mm. right, yes, social media, mm. you know, social media, a source of stress. Also, <laughs> uh, like that you know, actually depends. How are you seeking comfort or maybe cancel from that so, so social media? I see. Mm -hmm. What do you? What? What? What's your take, machine guys? Agreeably. So, social media uh, is, is is a two pronged evil. From from where I stand, mm. it depends with how you're using it. Social media, for starters, the negative aspect to it is this distancing, that closeness between families. Right. You find many a time within a family set, set up, everybody's stuck on their phones. Yeah. They don't get to interact even if they are in the same space. Right. They've grown attached to their devices to the extent of alienating themselves from each other. Right. So it's, it's how best you, you, you use the social media. I see. But what I believe is most pertinent is that we must use our strengths to communicate between and amongst each other. Right. More than we should resort to artificial intelligence or social media devices. Right. Why? Because this strength sends the bonds that exist between us as human beings. Right. I speak to you where I face challenges. Mm -hmm. But uh, like my good friend said earlier, uh -huh. we've got then to identify those people who mean good in our lives. This comes from wisdom and, 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 and experience. Right. Where do I come from? Where do I stand? Does he mean good? Does she mean good to me? What do they stand to benefit if I, they tell them, if, I, if, I, if they disclose my story? You know? Yeah. There may be better friends who are even... Ushamaru no kunda usawira. There are, some, so we so we know, 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 there are some friends who are like that. There are some relatives who are better than friends. So identifying those who mean well mm -hmm. and who would stand with you when it matters most, I think that is key. Right. So if I hear you correctly, it's important for us to develop genuine relationships. Indeed. Genuine Indeed. relationships at work, genuine relationships at home. So when we have genuine relationships at work, we are able to have help as men, I can have a man that I can go and say, ah, noza ndaraga mawan, zuna zuna kumira shaka naka kumba, zuna shaka mira shaka daiso. So relationships, but you see, it looks like people don't develop genuine relationships these days. It's just a transaction. It's just one or two things. What do I need to get from them? <laughs> but if we go back to developing genuine relationships, we will not have men who are isolated. I don't know. What do you think about that, Maiso? Yeah, um, it's actually very true, but I want to take you back a bit. Right. You know, the past experiences have a very big impact to, to, to how we, 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 we relate in the present day. Right. Um, and once beaten twice, shy. <laughs> <laughs> You see, you know, a nasty experience. Right. You relations are sour. Right, right. You know, and 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 in as much as I want to to move on, um, the first one 
a similar scenario mm -hmm. there's a tendency yekuti ndinopinda mu that mode yechakambonroa nezuru right but but maestro i hear you apane pane pane asina mbodona pa chair we we have takatombogara pa chair wakadona but we are still sitting on chairs so, so the fact that we have gone through stuff means that we must learn from it. Once we have learned from it, we then say, how do I navigate differently? Because most men then say, Saka, this one, that one injunction, I don't want to go in this area because I shan't. I think, I think that's what we need. But how can you really reduce stress so that you don't to manage So we're talking about communication. Talk to someone. We're talking about have genuine relationships, someone that you can relate to. How else can you reduce stress, Tafazgo? I think we can reduce stress by taking it as a crisis. You know, every time when there is a crisis, there is also an opportunity. So if you take stress coming your way, just always look for the opportunity that is coming through with that stress. For example, you know, when we are stress, it's automatically telling you. It's the right time to start something that can give you money. Other than going to people say, give me, give me, give me. You can start something right. because it comes from stress. You can take stress as an opportunity to start something. Right. Well, I don't want to talk about exercising. Just having a, reg a, 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 a regime of exercise to, to, to de-stress. I mean, uh, Clemens, what, what uh, exercise is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, thank you, Pastor. We, we do exercise. Because uh, you you know when you are in the gym, you also have a chance to to talk about some other things, and then you relieve yourself, your mind from the things that is being stressing you. So you realize that you can speak about, you can talk about football, you can talk about even how to lift weights. You can talk, you can talk a lot because there are a lot of men there you can talk to. So at the end of the day, you realize it really it relieves you from the stress that has been going on 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 in, uh, in your mind so you you have to you relax your body you relax your muscles your right. pressure your bp and everything after relaxing and then that's when you can actually uh, start to navigate all right because yes. yeah, yeah. they are running all over the place but I think from what we are saying here, we're saying physical exercise just helps you to reduce stress. Yeah. Speak, communicate, uh, have genuine relationships, but also have physical exercise, exercise. that helps you. Mm -hmm. Maybe in terms of but So you have not talking to people at home. And then by the time you get home, there's stress because you are just so tired and you are not speaking. What can you do like during the day, to make sure that Urgu avoid my stress are not going to go yakumba. Tafazu. Yes, I I think yeah, stress is very critical, Paguti. You have to also to distract your mind uh, from the things that are causing your stress. So it's not matteraje, matteraje exercising. So I think there are other ways to distract your mind. For example, you can also consider entertainment because there are. After work, you can actually go for, to watch a, a football match, for example. It can actually help you to distract your mind right? A, by watching that football match. Another thing is actually attending a church service. For example, if you go for a church service, you will find that after attending that service, you come up a renewed my person. Right. So those are the things that can actually help to actually uh, manage your stress level. As long as you don't stay at the football match eh. too long, eh. and then you have other stress eh. 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 <laughs> at home, yeah. you know, you know, one, yeah. one, of, one of the ways that um, uh, uh, you also can uh, that can help you is when you are coming from work, eh. and I do that sometimes. When you are coming from work, I just go and park at uh, I can just park and just maybe at a shopping complex, watch people, and I'm just trying to get myself out of the work mode so that by the time I get home, I have got, I have, I have, I have cooled down and I'm able to avail myself to the family. So it's also being able to find the things that work for you. And you know, 
Um, Maisha, what, what, what are your views? Yeah, that's, that's, that's very true. Um, you know, the issue um, your stress at work and, and, and actually shifting the whole load to, to, to family is a very big problem. Um, and uh, it has actually affected so many relationships. So while you are at that, let me hold you there because you are talking about productivity at work. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that we are saying you need to do to be able to reduce stress so that you may be available. Remember, work life, it's an equilibrium. You want to maintain everything in equilibrium. If there's this equilibrium, you have got a challenge. Why don't you just hold on as we come back and we have a, another chat on the work productivity as you're talking about. So welcome back. You know, just before we took the break, we were talking about what are the ways, how do you reduce stress? You know, one of the key things that we, one of the key principles is that balance is the key to life. Balance is the key to life. Keeping things in equilibrium, that's the challenge that we have. Stress comes sometimes because of perception, but when things are out are in disequilibrium, you start having either problems at work or problems at home, problems in your personal lives. But we want to say, how can you we want, we want to discuss and be able to equip each other and say, how do you ensure that you are able to remain productive, top-notch at work, and still be able to be top-notch and effective at home? How do you achieve the balance? I know, Maisha, you were right in the midst of a thought when I stopped you, but I want you to pick up, finish off your thought, but I want you to pick up from there and say, how do we achieve the balance? Thank you so much, Pastor. Um, uh -huh. you have to be conscious of what you are doing and um, not get carried away. Right, right. <laughs> you know, because you are be conscious of your surroundings, you lose track of everything. Right, right. So you won't be able to, to attend to the different needs of, 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 of each and every uh, facet of the surrounding. Right. So what am I saying? Uh -huh. I know good my day is is, is packed. Right. And it Pandruk with a tea break. It may sound funny, but uh, just a text or a call at home, ah guys, eh, can out see that Zurizay. Right. Today I'm 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 busy. Right. Pangunde on a partika. Right. You know? That KTC call, it, it, it actually cools everything. Right. So, uh -huh. you have communicated. Right, right. You know, I said, 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 I I said, I said, I said, I <laughs> so it sounds to me like you are talking about being effective and being efficient. Mm -hmm. Effectiveness being doing things right, doing the right things. Yeah. And efficiency means doing things right. Yeah. Otherwise, people end up working long hours. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Stigge, long hours. And sometimes people are saying, I don't have long hours. And sometimes it's maybe because someone is just spending their time on things that are not, that they are not supposed to be. What do you think you should do to be able to achieve the balance and manage long working hours? Yeah. Tito Tangirapa. Message of now, my Mazuana Kashinji Kash Guare for no per no peraku Kubas Kubas, eh? Yeah. Saga is our tower as a two no fan of communicator Kumba. Tolot no, in Kunuk, 
ndine basara kandi tiwandire ehe eh zvinoita kuti vanhu vavo vakumba kwazve kuti munhu uyu zvano nokakuya basara kambata uko right right uri kumba uchibva kubasawo zvakare unofana kuwawo munhu ano ano wimbika vabva kubasa street kuenda kumba vasi kwa kumba mo discuss hai nyaya ne basara anga rukuita Ah ndandi ne basara kadaira kadaira kadaira. Eh eh. Eh zvinoita kuti awa waone kuti zveshiwa munhu anga richi ari kubasa. Kana ari kumba zvakare haufana kubva kuti basa kazhinji kacho kune kunyanya vari kushanda mabasa emaofisi. Vanotakura basa kubva kubasa uya kumba. Eh. Asi kakumba uko kwane office kumba. Kwane office kumba. Eh akubva kubasa ne office yekubasa. Akutongo sika straight ko pinda mu office mag. Right. Asi sina nguwa nekutaura na madzimai nemhuri. Okay. Saka balance yacho maji apa aizonyatso. Okay. Si cheka eh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So 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 <coughs> panye yeku yeku achieve the balance. Mm-hmm. I think from what I'm hearing you're saying mm-hmm. be able to separate work from home. That's a model that works for some people mm-hmm. to separate those two. But sometimes it's inseparable because that's your life. Vamwano to send zane madzimai vaka question nakubasa vachibva ipapo vari tori kumba futi saka stress yacho inenge yato ipapo but what else can you do what do you what is it that you can do claim what can be done if to be able to achieve the balance because at the end of the day as long as things are in disequilibrium there's stress that's how we see some people get into some people end up committing suicide some people get into difficulties what is it that you can do to be able to achieve the balance uh, I, i would i would like to quote like what you said uh, communication is the basis of life i think if we communicate more with uh, whoever is involved because we don't live in a vacuum right whoever is involved in our lives be it our wives be it our bosses be it our subordinates whoever is involved if we communicate I think it really it really strikes a balance because everyone will, will be on the same page. Right. No one is going to be left out kuti this guy is going through something else. Right. Yeah. So, so I, you are saying communicate communication. Communicate is, is communicate communicate. Yes. yes. Um but uh Ryan yes. as a young person you know there's so much demands on young people. Sure. What is it that how can a young person achieve you know there's uh, there's so much demands they need to show up on social media mm. with all kinds of things mm. they need to be studying they need to they, there's just so much demand how can a young person achieve the balance that we are talking about and keep everything in equilibrium okay i would try to advocate for the young persons uh, or yeah. young people okay uh, sometimes i think these young people in fact people my age or lower they actually need um I can say a sense of belonging sense actually. of belonging yes, right yes sure like they sh- they really need somewhere where they can like someone who can give them a shoulder or it it, it might not, not be someone it might be something actually okay and, let's say uh, earlier we talked about uh, exercising someone might have maybe a passion in football right they can actually go do f- 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 football for leisure and then uh, they can uh, maybe feel better or feel relaxed and uh, feel relieved somehow maybe that's how they can actually balance their things because maybe i'm at school uh-huh. and it got, I mean, then the stress that was book maybe the stress your dissertation the stress your lecture right actually, and, but i don't want to carry that stress back home right i, I want to have my family kuti tenge tichiwirana zvakanaka na mama nadit ne vaningina and maybe i can pass by a ground no na 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 boys uh-huh. and na na boys motamba bora modi 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 then he, those those debates you kuti aparamwa arina eva chi 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 muchidai 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 i think it is the thought you right. kuti you know i was facing this kumasuro so right now maybe i'm now feeling better you kuti fungwa yato yebora but you know you know Ryan, one of the things in terms of work life balance sometimes we are looking at it from but pane nyaya kuti ndakaona hapana hano zvitanga kuisa makumbo mbucket Mm. just towards exams apa <laughs> kana yanga ari pa university the whole term mm. anga chi their time was allocated to something, something else, else. Oh. and then wa kutanga kutsvaga to mas tablets to kuti wasarare i think and then it has got repercussions i mm. think it's also an issue where we are saying 
why don't you allocate your life well and your time well? Because, man, if you go to my exams, I don't surprise. <laughs> yeah, we sure. have exams mm-hmm. today, mm-hmm. but you know that when you're starting mm-hmm. Form 4, you have got exams at the end of the year. Mm-hmm. But I think it's also being able to allocate time. Mm-hmm. I want to ask Mashinga Idze, you know, we've been talking from mainly from an employee, but I want you to speak from a manager's perspective. What would be the benefit to an organization or to a manager if you ensure that your, your subordinate has got a balanced work life? What benefits would, would you have even as a manager or as a business? I think uh, the, the greatest benefit that might arise from such is uh, that uh, you have a productive workforce. Right. Which is efficient, which is happy, which then gives you the results that you desire. Right, right. But I want to go just a bit back to the last point that you spoke to about being organized. Right. What's the greatest cause of stress many a time is the individual right. who fails to prioritize his issues, right. who does not know his prejudices and how to deal with them. Right, right. So the starting point is if you have uh, an organized life where you prioritize your day, mm-hmm. your month, your yeah. week, knowing which priority areas matter most for you to attend to. Right. Important, but not that important that I cannot let go. Right, right. Important and must do yeah. now. Yeah. So that you don't get surprises. Right. What happens like the example that you gave? You are a father. Yeah. Who has to take care of the needs of the family that arise. Right. The, the, the manly duties taking care of the welfare of the kids. Mm-hmm. Then you are at work. Yeah. You are a leader. Mm-hmm. You have to also ensure that your subordinates' needs are also taken care of. Right. Over and above that, maybe you are, carrying out, you are, you are, you are, you are doing studies mm-hmm. which go beyond the call of duty. Right, right. You also have to, to make sure that you prepare for the exams. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you already know you've got a course outline which tells you this is what you do. But if you then do not know which must come first. Right. You always live a stressful life. Right. And the the, the, the person to blame is yourself. Right. For failing to live an organized life. Right. So I think the greatest benefit is that the workforce will produce more Mm -hmm. because they are getting all that is required. And at the end of the day, it's you, the manager, who gets all the praise. Right. So it means you need to to be coaching and saying, hey, listen, I think I think you must have some breaks to say, you go home. Yes. Okay, go home. Indeed. Uh, 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 I, I don't want to see you here. Mm-hmm. Go home. Because sometimes working longer hours, working longer hours does not translate into being productive. True. So uh, I think what I liked the most, um, our takeaway from this conversation is, Hanzi Chihina, Hanzi Chihina, Hanzi, Ziva, Zaurukuita, then ita zaono ziva. Ziva zaorugu ita, ita zaono ziva. We have to be, to balance out, to be productive. Working longer hours does not translate into productivity. And B organizations would benefit more if their staff, and if their staff uh, are, are able to maintain an equilibrium between their personal life and their work life. Let's take a break. It's been an exciting conversation that we are having. We have been doing good exchange, which is the process of life. We have been doing good communication, I believe, which is really the basis for life. And as we said earlier on, balance is key, and we want to be able to achieve the balance. But do we have any experiences? You know, it's, it's, it's easy to talk about something that's superficial. I'll give you an example. For me, there's a time I really, I really struggled because my work was demanding. I was working for a company and the work was so demanding that uh, it was stressful because the business was not doing well. Uh, I had to deal with over 200 staff and, and I had to handle their issues. And you know, sometimes people come to you and they say, oh, I've got this issue. The business was not paying staff. And someone comes and say, 
Uno story passed a kapati. Suno itere uta musuko badara. And so it 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 becomes so stressful to you as an individual. And and what it did is that it resulted in me having actually health problems. I was now sick in my body. And one of the things what I had to do through counsel and through engaging with people was to emotionally disinvest from the business. To say, I am not the business. I am me. And if the business dies, then that's it. But if I die, my family will not have another father. So it's sharing all these experiences. And, and you know, I want to ask Tafaz, what do you have, what, what, what can you share that you went through so that someone who hears will say, you know what, I identify with what he's talking about. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. So in any awaken the field of creativity. So I'm a graphic designer. So one time I was I was having this playing. I couldn't create anything because I was emotion emotionally stressed. I was looking at the program, trying to create something, but nothing was coming out. I realized where was it coming from? I said, say ah, I have to start practicing things that will help me to create. I started to look at other people, what they are doing currently in the, in the industry. I started to ask others, how are you doing this? How are you achieving this? I ended up getting help. It was started by, by, by being vulnerable to others, saying, guys, I'm sick here, I need help. Right. And guys really helped right. me, right? So being vulnerable, saying, I, I need help. At the end of the day, we know... Uh, culture and community has made men to be stoic and to be old, but we are saying just being vulnerable yes. helped you to be able to get help. Yes. Maisha. Yeah, thank you. Um, Chimoshi Njinoiti kanda chekuti fie ino 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 tikanganisa. Right. Um, unoko na kuita scenario ye kuti kumpa kwa choka Right. And did and, and 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 you end up resorting to having long hours at the office. Right. You know, trying to shift focus. Waiter wake a You know. <laughs> yeah. But as as you know, as you as you know, as you you know, but I think Zurukungo da self introspection, right? You know, and you need to tell yourself, Kuti, even if Uga 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 Garo Basa Kwajoga, still just look at a ubi, Kumba, one on a situation, a jerry, you know, Saka, you, you, you just need to uh, make sure Kuti, what visa that fear, right. To face the problems, okay. ripo, you know, because at times um, as men, uh, 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 we are not so much comfortable in facing my challenges at Ningeti right. now. You wow. Know? If I hear you correctly, you are just saying we must have the courage to face the giants in our lives. Mm -hmm. And that courage to face those giants could be through help, getting help from somebody else or through just confronting, yes. avoidance does not bring solutions, but confronting and saying, okay, this is what I'm facing, and let me go and, 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 and handle it. I know, Mashinga, it's a, you, we, you, know, you, you, you probably have a couple of experiences, and just share with us maybe one of those where you feel like, okay, this is what it was, and this is what I went through. I, I, I have had several nasty experiences, if I can call them. Right. I would not... Uh, then refer to recent ones because uh, they might have a bearing <laughs> even in, uh, right. in terms of relations, you know, right. so I'll avoid those. Right. I'll speak of past experiences at the work that affected me, mm -hmm. but uh, to an extent that I had to make bold decisions. Right, right. The, the one incident was you are working in an organization where there are very powerful people yeah. who are big, you know, hierarchy. Uh -huh. And uh, you get to be, I, I don't know whether this is the proper word, to be hated uh -huh. by somebody who is powerful and in authority. Right. Who's got that very same authority 
to maybe eliminate you from from the very job where you survive. Right. Not because you've done something that's faulty. Right. They know the reasons. Mm -hmm. But because it's a system, they use the means available to antagonize you. Right. To the extent that maybe you are put before a hearing mm -hmm. to answer to unfounded allegations. Right, right. This is the situation that you're facing. You speak to colleagues. What are you going to <laughs> but Magaita is saying him to Ramun Hari Bowan. And you don't even know, you're trying to look. So at home you're saying, it's, it's, it, this is at work. Right. But it, it follows through to you even at home. Right. It affects things at home. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening at work. Fortuitously, or, 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 or fortunately, mm -hmm. what would then happen is after discussing with colleagues, and as maybe God wills it, it is discovered that there really is no issue that you have committed, right. but you are saved by the right. grace of God. Right. So the charges don't stick and nothing arises. But what then remains is a bad relationship where you are not safe. Right. You still love the job so, so much because it gives you money. Mm -hmm. And according to your plans, you are saying, I have to be here for the next, until <laughs> I achieve A, B, C, D. Right. But is this the best place to be? Yeah. Then you speak to yourself and say, Perhaps this is God telling me my time is up. Right. And you start making a move and you get to where you feel you are loved, appreciated, and right. So you are forced to make a bold decision, decision. albeit through negative circumstances. Right. Then you have to take that chance. Wow. So I took a chance. That's how I dealt with it. And I got to a place where I felt felt appreciated and where my creativity thrived. Wow. wow. So you are saying you had to take a decision. You know, decisions decide destiny. And so you had to make a decision. You know, sometimes we are looking for solutions and all it does is requires to make a decision. Even just as you were saying earlier on, you must have the courage to face the giants, but you also have to make a decision because decisions will decide destiny. Tafazu, do you have any experiences where you can say, you know what, for me, I think this is what I went through and this is what I applied, or what is it that you can share that said, this is what I applied and this is what I believe worked for me? Yeah, thank you, Pastor. I think for me, I had uh, uh, various uh, scenarios, but uh, just to give um, a, a remark, what I've seen is Great men are those people who are able to overcome circumstances head on. If we right. check as a pastor how a uh, job went mm -hmm. through a scenario, right? A, how if he had transferred it to his to his family, how Abraham went through a long spell of childless, but he was productive. So for me, I had a, a situation, a family issue at home, which was uh, affecting me personally, and I've actually seen that it affected my mental health. Right. My mental health. Because right. stress right. is ability to then transfer you, your mental health to, right. to, to your mental health. So I had seen that it was now affecting my work productivity. Right. But at work, uh, sometimes, you know, at work there are also demands there. Yeah. People would not understand what's going on at home. Right. So I've seen that that balance between work and home, they, it was all negative. So because of, of what was happening at home. Right. So uh, mentally I was not okay. So for me, I then said, no, I cannot lose both. Right. Both work and home. And home. Yeah. And home at the same time. So yeah. what I did, what applies for me, what I applied for me is seeking help. Right. Because for me, on my own, I had seen that I am not able to overcome. Right. When I sought help, because everyone, you find out most people have actually went through the situation that you are going through. Right. And they have great experiences. You know, Wakuru Edwanot experience is the greatest teacher. Uh -huh. So those experiences are meant to make us grow. Right. So when I went through a counseling, that's why initially I said you should belong to a strong family system. Right. So that family system helped me to overcome through counseling. Mm -hmm. So I went through a rigorous counseling process to be able to balance. For me, it helped me. Uh, coupled right. by prayer and talking to those people, 
I then managed to balance between family and work. At the end of the day, there was productivity at work whilst I was managing the family right. issue. Wow. So I didn't then affect my, my, my work. That's good. Yeah. I yeah. like what you said that yeah. I decided that yeah. I would not lose yeah. both. Yeah. Gentlemen, what a night. Our conversation tonight was around how do you manage stress? And we agreed that belong to some family. Yeah. Don't be a lone ranger. Yeah. And we said, with the things that you are facing, yeah. you must have the courage yeah. to face the giants yeah. that are with you. Yeah. And decisions decide destiny. Yeah. As we shared tonight, we agreed that communication is the basis of life. Communication is the basis of life. And exchange is the process of life. And balance is the key to life. And agreement is really what makes life worth living. So gentlemen, thank you so much. We agreed tonight that we cannot face life alone, but we are able to bring equilibrium between work and life. Great evening. Thank you so much for the conversation. This program was brought to you by the Marketers Association of Zimbabwe.